All right, we're back doing another vlog. This is a new camera. I did film this intro like twice before, but we're gonna start it over. Basically, this is the Rebel T7i. It's a Canon camera. It's got the basic lens on it, so we're gonna be playing with this. I don't know how the autofocus and eye tracking is. I'm watching the screen over here, but I don't know how the autofocus and the audio is gonna be, because I don't have a microphone, but let me know in the comments down below. I normally shoot on my iPhone 11 here, and it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to get the files because they're gonna be pretty big files off of this to my computer, but I am uh, willing to take that risk. I normally have an app on my phone that I can transfer these to the computer, which makes things nice, but uh, it's worth the uh, upgrade because I'm already looking at the screen over here and the quality looks awesome, so I'm really excited about that. But uh, yeah, without further ado, a couple things I've been working on. We are, let's see. Where do I want to start? I'm working on making a fixture for these heads here. And once again, I don't know if these are, if this is going to focus or not, but uh, these are some payday masks. And these are super cool heads. These got designed, and I posted about these about actually close to a month ago, three weeks ago, and I need to get these done because you guys keep bugging me on Instagram saying, where are those, those heads? I also have a horror pack, like a bunch of horror faces from different like horror movies. And then I also have a like a Joker style mask pack. So there's three new head packs coming out. There's actually a fourth, but I don't have the parts for that. So we're gonna work on these three. I'm gonna try to get those released. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys kind of what I'm working on as far as a printing fixture for these parts. Okay, so this is the printing fixture I'm working on. This will allow me to print 100 heads at a time and I'm able to make two of these and put two of them on my printer. So I'll be able to print 200 heads at a time. Normally I print 20 heads at a time, so this is gonna be 10Xing my um, production here. And what's cool is, so these heads here, what, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stack them in stacks of 10 and they're gonna sit in these channels and then they're gonna get printed. So here's a, I don't know if this is gonna be a closer look or not at these heads here, but uh, See if we can get this to focus. There we go, you can kind of see those there. So these are some of the quick test prototypes. This bottom one's actually that Joker one that I was talking about. The rest of these are payday related. So I'm really, really excited to get this going and I uh, hope you guys are excited to see it happen. So let's keep working on it. All right, so it's the next day. It is Monday, or I think it's the next day. Maybe it's the next two days. I don't know when the last few clips were filmed, but I got the fixtures done for those heads. I showed you in CAD cam what those actually look like, and now I'm gonna go ahead and show you them. They're over here on the printer. I'm gonna show you kind of how they work, and then I'm hoping later tonight, it's like 6.30 right now, I'm hoping that I'll have time to set them up and test them out and actually print some heads with them. So I'm really excited about that. And I realize I gotta hold this camera up a little bit higher, but yeah. All right, so here are the fixtures, like you saw on the uh, computer a couple clips back. So we've got 10 channels here, and each one of these is gonna hold 10 heads. So you can see here, all I'm gonna have to do is take these heads, stack them up, and then I just simply set them in there, and they sit there nicely, and then I can print them. So normally I print, I would say, Depends on the, um, you know, the product or the customer. Normally, I print anywhere from, you know, 20 heads at a time, sometimes 50 heads at a time. This will allow me to print 200 heads at a time. So 100 here and 100 here. And if I really wanted to, I could make an even bigger fixture and print like maybe 300 at a time. But for now, 200 is way better than I'm currently doing, and it's going to be more productive. And I've got. Over here, let's see. I don't know how many heads are in this bag, but there's probably close to 500 in there. There is, I think, I don't know if it's 500 or 1,000 in here. I'd have to double check. And then I've also got all of these black heads. I think there's 500 in there. So, and then I'm also probably gonna order another 1,000 in white. So the reason for all the heads is I have some new head packs that I'm working on that are in the works and I'm really excited about them and I think they're gonna be really popular so I'm gonna to have to make a bunch of them. So being able to print this many at a time is gonna be just game changing for me. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and turn on the printer and get things going and we'll go from there. Wow. 
So one of the things you have to do with UV printing, or at least my printer, is you have to shake. The, these are ink cartridges, and you have to shake them, at least for white. White is a very specific color in this printing process. It's very important, and you have to make sure all the chemicals in the ink and all the like minerals, I think it was the iron in the ink that settles in the bottom of the cartridges. You don't want that, so I sit here and I look like a silly person here shaking these around for a couple minutes while I uh, get things warmed up. So that's just another thing that you gotta do with the UV printing. So it's not just like you turn it on, like there's a whole you know five minute setup whenever you wanna print something. So you know just to turn the printer, the machine on. So you know sit here and shake these white inks and uh, yeah. All right, I figured I will keep these vlogs extremely raw. It is midnight and I printed some of the new head designs. I might show you guys those. I'm not too sure when this vlog's gonna be done. Technically, this should be up right now because it is Tuesday. It's just turned Tuesday and normally I upload at midnight, but I just didn't have time. I watched this, um, this one really long YouTube video that I really enjoy. I watch it like once a year or something like that, so I did that and it's very inspiring. And then another thing is I'm doing this 75 hard challenge so I just read 10 pages of this book called Crush It by Gary V. A lot of you guys probably know who he is. That's one of his first books he did. It's very interesting. And then I read his follow-up book called Crushing It. I already read that. That was very interesting. Definitely recommend those two books. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna probably show you these this fixture here. Um, I'm gonna flip the camera around and just show you guys real quick before I go to bed. All right, so here's a look at the fixture here. So we've got some brand new heads. I haven't even shown some of these, so this is a total sneak peek, and uh, that's kind of how the printing fixture itself works. So it just holds the heads in there. I ended up not using the second one, just because if I can do 100 heads at a time, you know, it's pretty fast just to do, you know, this many at a time. Let's see if we can get a real close up. Um, I don't know how the lighting is going to be or how the autofocus is going to be, but uh, yeah, that's what we got and we've got uh, a total of 50 of these guys printed. So there's three packs I'm working on and uh, these packs are done. I'm going to work on the other two tomorrow being Tuesday or actually today, later today after I sleep. But uh, yeah, these are really cool. I'm really excited how these turned out and um, you guys are gonna love the other two packs, so definitely stay tuned, and uh, yeah.